Hello everyone, it's Mike from Downtown Comics, and I hope you're having a great day. We are looking at all the new comics releasing on Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. Before we begin, I hope everyone had a great free comic book day. Hopefully you got some uh, great books and you have some projects to look forward to, as a lot of those will be coming out during the summer here. So before we begin, as always, I have every cover that I can find, but there are always more. So go to our website at downtowncomics.com. Look at the new week's release list, and you can see all the possible covers. If there's one you super like, you can use our Comic Hub app to order it directly from a store. And if we don't have it in stock, we can try and get it for you. So, as always, like, share, and subscribe if you could. That'd be great. I want to get this to as many people as possible. So let us begin with Marvel. All right. Amazing 25 is here. So we are getting very close to the whole end of the Mary Jane, what happened with the missing time. And of course, we have a new Disney cover for this one. A lot of good covers for this one, actually. Ah, you get a Scotty Young. You get a 252. I mean, you get, get a little bit of everything. So that's a big issue. Uh, we have a second print of Avengers Beyond number one, if you missed the first printing. Captain Marvel hits 49. Pretty cool cover. The Cosmic Ghost Rider miniseries marches on. And we get a brand new Daredevil. That's pretty cool. Brand new Daredevil. And last week we had Carnage Reigns, I want to say. That little mini event. We also have an Extreme Venomverse mini event. So as far as I know, they're not tied together. So you get a lot of Spider-Man related stuff coming on. So you get a variety of cool covers for that. So that's a little mini event, the Extreme Venomverse. Brand new Ghost Rider. It's pretty cool. All right, brand new Invincible Iron Man. All right. Uh, a second printing of the very popular It's Jeff one-shot. Brand new Miracle Man. The third issue of Rogue and Gambit miniseries. Lots of covers this week. All right, Silk is back for a new series. So if you like her character, something new there. We have the third issue of Shadow Clones, the Spider-Gwen series. And yes, more Spider-Man, the 2099 Dark Genesis miniseries. That hits number two. Do you think there'd be a, there's a movie coming out with a bunch of Spider-Men in it? Darth Vader is new, number 34. And we have Star Wars High Republic, number nine. We have a second print of Venom Lethal Protector 2, number one. So the second miniseries, number one, gets a reprint. Brand new Wolverine. And wrapping it up with X-Men Red is new this week. X-Men Red. All right, so there's your Marvel. Let's go into some independence here. We have a new saga. Uh, from Scout, we have a book called Quicksand. That's a new one. Uh, Old Dog is back. It seemed like that was on a hiatus, but it is back. Noctera is on number 14. Issue 5 of Nemesis Reloaded. That may be the last issue of that miniseries. Not sure. Dark Horse, we have a new one called Murder, Inc. Jagger Rose. And that's from Brian Michael Bendis. So, and it looks like, oh, just the creator. I thought it was set in that universe. Nope, just the creators. All right, Lord of the Jungle is new. And we have a new King Kong comic. So that's pretty cool from Dynamite. So if you're a King Kong fan, he gets a new comic. Uh, Junkyard Joe, I believe that's the end of that miniseries. Liquid Kill hits number four. The Great British Bump Off. What issue is this? It's number two. Great British Bump Off number two. A new one from Boom called Ghost Lore. Looks like Mulder and Scully, but Priest? <laughs> okay. I don't know. We'll see, just by the cover. Dream Master, Death Dealer. 
New issue of Clear by Scott Snyder. Black Cloak hits number five. Uh, the Ancient Enemies, Wrath and Sun. So I think this is a new miniseries. Yes, so it's a new number one, uh, but based with uh, if Ancient Enemies is a, a theme or whatever. So same theme. Ambassadors hits issue four. A Legacy of Violence, number five. The Star Trek Defiant book, number three. If you got that free comic book for Star Trek, um, you want to be reading both Defiant and the regular Star Trek book because those are going to intertwine uh, for the big crossover. And we have a new uh, one-shot, Godzilla Rivals. So that's a brand new one-shot. All right, onward to DC. We have Batman Incorporated, which seems to be taken over by the Joker. So Batman Adventures, number five. Uh, we have a brand new White Knight miniseries called Generation Joker. So, set in the White Knight universe. Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries. Uh, the Danger Street book, number six. And Gotham Academy is back with a new... Is this a one-shot? I think this is a one-shot. I don't remember ordering another one. Maybe a one-shot, maybe a miniseries, not sure. But Gotham Academy is back. And then our big launch for DC, we finally have a new monthly Green Lantern book. And it looks like Hal is the main guy, so we'll see. Hopefully that's cool. Covers look great. Looney Tunes. Harley screws up the DCU. That miniseries continues. Uh, Nightmare County, the Glass House. Another new one called Spirit World. Don't know much about this one right this second, but that is new. The Stargirl Lost Children miniseries, number six. Superman Lost, that 10-issue miniseries, hits number three. And Wildcats, number seven, which may or not be that Grifter's dead. I'm not sure. All right, following up, uh, we've got a few more independents. Scar, number two. Second Trinity, Second Coming Trinity, number two. Spawn book is just Spawn this week. And a brand new one called Something Epic Number One, which is so big that I don't want to turn over to the back cover because it's actually the final page of the comic is the back cover. So that's how epic that is. All right. Well, there you go. So some good Marvel stuff, some good DC launches. Can't wait to read Green Lantern. And we have some cool independence, King Kong, Star Trek, stuff like that. So thanks for watching. Appreciate the time. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you at the stores. Bye-bye.